New Jersey's two U.S. Senators, Bob Menendez and Cory Booker, say leave it alone. Both want rules left in place to require truckers to get plenty of rest before hitting the highways. One Senate committee approved an amendment to relax those rules, but Booker and Menendez plan to introduce an amendment to block that move. It comes in the wake of three fatal trucking crashes, including one that hurt comedian Tracy Morgan. Our Christy Duffy was on a conference call this morning with both Booker and Menendez. She joins us now from the Thomas Edison rest stop in Woodbridge. Christy, why are they determined to keep these rules as they are? Michael, these are new regulations that just went into effect last summer, and Senators Booker and Menendez say they need to stay in place in order to curb a growing trend. They say that fatalities tied to trucking crashes are up 16% since 2009. They think these regulations will help to reverse those numbers. Christy, I imagine there's some pushback to this. What are their opponents proposing to change about the driver rest regulations? Right, so this change in regulations was brought about in the Senate Appropriations Committee. That is where Senator Susan Collins, a Republican from Maine, proposed an amendment that would do two things. One, it would repeal a current mandate that says truck drivers must get 34 consecutive hours off a week their weekend in effect. It would also repeal a current mandate that says truck drivers must get two nights off per week. So Christy, what is the trucking industry saying about this? Because the truck that crashed into the vehicle carrying Tracy Morgan and the other comedians supposedly was equipped with all this technologically advanced equipment to avoid crashes and to know when to stop and so forth. So what does the trucking industry have to say about this? The American Trucking Association, which represents the industry and is a large lobby for the trucking industry, is in support of the Collins Amendment. They think that these rules need to change because they say, quote, the current rules are controversial and unjustified and that they, quote, alter driver sleep patterns and put more trucks on the road during more risky daylight hours. They also say that only 10% of truck crashes are tied to driver fatigue, and they think more attention should be paid to the other 90% of truck crashes. Now, we also talked to the Teamsters Union, which represents a lot of the truck drivers, and they say they are not in favor of the Collins Amendment. Well, clearly she's doing it for the trucking industry and the shippers, um, who we think sometimes put their priority on profits uh, and move in their cargo than on the safety of the public. So the Teamsters Union wants to see more enforcement by the Department of Transportation, and they also want to see a hotline set up so drivers could report their employers if they're being pressured to break the hours of service regulations. Michael? Thank you, Chris. Reporting from the Thomas Edison Rest Area in Woodbridge Forest tonight.